it going everybody? Mike here from Bush Green. How's everybody doing? It's a beautiful Saturday morning right now and uh, I've got a little bit of a project here today. Uh, as you can see, I got a grass flap for the 36 uh, stand-on for my John Deere uh, stand-on here. So yeah, I kind of caved in. I did have a, a homemade uh, shoot blocker uh, that uh, somebody helped me kind of fabricate quick and, and weld and, and this and that and, and, and it worked great last year uh, and then this year I was just having some problems with it, it was slipping and then I just had the problem that I couldn't open it or, or, or close it from uh, the standing position on, on the mower. I had to physically get off and put it up or down and then I ended up uh, adding a bungee cord to it just to make it easier to open, hook on and this and that, whatever. But uh, you know what? I was looking into it and a lot of you uh, use this grass flap. Um, I couldn't find anything really negative about it. And uh, I, I, I like the fact that it, the uh, foot pedal uh, control with it to open and close it and everything. So I thought, what the hell, you know, I'll try, I'll try it out. And uh, so far, grass flap uh, company has been uh, amazing, you know, for, with communication, with emails. Before I ordered it, I had questions. And uh, yeah, it came pretty quick, uh, less than a week. And I have it right here. So, I'm gonna be adding it on here. All right, so here we are on the workbench. This is the uh, stuff that came with it right here. So we got uh, all these different bolts here, I guess for, uh, well, they're all for uh, different, I guess different mowers, you know, like how you're gonna install it onto your deck and everything. I did get the one that I uh, have to drill holes into the deck. And uh, the uh, drillless mount was not available for the uh, John Deere 36M stand-on. So anyway, not a big deal. Uh, gonna be using using the, the longest bolts here. I don't know how long those are, one, two, maybe three inch or so. So I'll show you why. So this is the actual flap right here that I got. So the instructions aren't too bad. Um, the pictures look good. I, I like looking at pictures, <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, yeah, they're okay. They give you a list there of uh, what kind of tools you should use and stuff. Um, an explanation how to do things here and there, whatever. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it seems pretty uh, straightforward anyway, how to do this. So we got the flap there. We got a little deflector here that goes on. You'll see later with that. And spacers. I'm gonna bring these spacers with me because I want to show you guys some. So, oh, the pedals right here too, and the cable. There's cable all along right here. Okay. So yesterday I kind of got a head start. Last night I, I took off my old cheap blocker right here. My own stuff. I, I just used the grinder and cut it off. So I used to have that on there, and uh, you know, there's a handle and stuff to to turn it. It was like a sprocket system. It was a great idea. Just needs a little bit more work to uh, to get that uh, going perfect. So I cleaned everything up here. I uh, I actually did measure already, and I drilled two holes in here. Now I see other people that drilled way over here and stuff but for some reason the uh, um, shoot blocker would not reach all the way over here then from there so so I had the drill here um, yeah I didn't really want to drill into the deck but it is what it is so what I did too I know it looks like it's all kind of factory painted well yeah I did paint it I do have John Deere paint probably see it in here yeah right there there you go it's always nice to have uh, paint to touch up things. So I thought it would be a good idea just to paint. I just kind of painted quick across there, but around the holes there too to, to help prevent from uh, rusting and stuff. It's not like I'm gonna be uh, operating this in the snow and, and salt and stuff anyway, but but still, right? So uh, because of the height right here, so they give you an, an inch spacer and uh, this is a quarter, yeah, no, half inch spacer. Is it half? Yeah, half inch spacer. So, the thing is, okay, this spacer here, it's flush here with this, but with this part right here, it's slightly higher. So, what I have to do, I don't know if anybody else did this too, I, I gotta go one and a half. I have to use both these spacers. 
So I measured it and everything, and uh, it should work anyway. I, I got zero experience installing any of these before. I got basic knowledge of uh, uh, any kind of mechanics and stuff and whatever. So, so let's see what happens here, okay? Okay, so with these spacers, as you can see, I, uh, because we got a, a one inch spacer and we have a half inch spacer. So, so I put some Gorilla tape around it just to hold it as, as one spacer. Now I, I know this tape's not gonna hold, it's gonna lose its stickiness and come off. Basically, I just wanna keep this thing together as one while I'm installing this. And once everything is tight, then it doesn't matter if that tape comes off because everything's gonna stay tight together. It's just right now because I'm gonna put the spacer down. I'm gonna put the small part or the, the half inch part up. Um, the spacers will move while I'm trying to put, mount this on and then bolt it on and stuff. You guys get it, right? Okay. So I put I put this hole here um, just because the spacer is gonna rust against uh, this mount right here from the uh, the old uh, shoot deflector, you know that used to be on the machine here. So see kind of goes right in the corner there and that hole is pretty much pretty much right there okay so I'm gonna line all that up let's get our bolts here ready you're probably saying Mike if you like wearing socks and sandals <laughs> you know what it's really comfortable these are my safety sandals people laugh at me whenever I'm doing work and stuff I'm usually wearing sandals and socks okay <laughs> so Put that bolt through there. I guess I could take this this part off, this other mount here, but I'm gonna try and do this with it. Put on there. Try and get it through that hole I can't see. Okay. There we go. Get this one through. I'm just going to hand tight everything right now until uh, all the final adjustments are done. Exactly uh, where I'm going to mount this. Well, it's going to be mounted here, but as you can see, I'm going to slide this in and out. So if, if I were to install this farther back, like what I talked about before, there's, there's not enough clearance here. So this is how much room I have to play with. I can have it all the way right there, which will be too much. Much you can see right here but you see there's about a inch and a half gap right there and we don't want that so it's going to be brought in a little bit more there probably around there so do that let's do the next step all right so we're back uh, just to give you an update as to uh, what I've been doing here um, I didn't want to bore everybody <laughs> with two hours of uh, struggling to uh, put str springs on and <laughs> and stuff. So anyway, like I said, uh, I, I, I have basic knowledge of uh, mechanics and, and stuff, and I'm following the instructions. Uh, you really have to read the instructions if you're not sure how to do this. And uh, so, so anyway, earlier I said I wasn't gonna tighten this down just yet. I had to tighten it down a little more just so it doesn't move, okay, in order to get the spring on. So I know a lot of people talk about uh, you know putting springs on. There's a spring tool you can use. Uh, I think 100% I'm gonna invest in a spring tool. Um, the instructions show to use a wrench and use this part, the hole, and, and hook it through and bring it around. I could not get the wrench out after I got it on. So basically what I had to do with this was uh, just use some pliers. And uh, I was trying to put the spring on. And I'll try and get you guys to see a little bit better here so got to get the spring on around there so I was trying to do it with the flap down right and trying to get it here and I kept on hitting this part right here uh, is impossible so the only way I could do it was to have this flap up and then grab the spring from the bottom with the uh, with the pliers basically from the top here and I kind of came around here and then oh, there you go and I got her on 
let's get you guys back right there. So, I got the spring on. I put the cable on here. I got the uh, little pin in here to hold that and everything. Nothing's adjusted here. Nothing's 100% just yet because I got to hook up. I got to figure out a way to put the cable through the machine and to the back platform. So basically what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to measure. So this they give you this thing right here, which is awesome. And it attaches to uh, this part that goes up and down that says grass fab on it, all right? So the next, nice thing about the John Deere deck that I have here, everything is square. Square, flat, just flat. Nothing's rounding off. It's rounding off back here. But the deck part here where the discharge is, it's 100% straight. So I'm kind of lucky that way. I don't have to cut any curves. So what we're going to do, and also I got clearance here under the fuel tank, which is perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clamp this up here so I can go flush right at the front here. Where's my clamp? Right there. Yeah, so I can pretty much go flush right at the front here. And then at the back, I just got to do a straight cut. Going straight down there, 100%, all just straight edges, that's all I need. If I really wanted to get fancy, I could kind of cut in here and curve right there. Why not just keep it all straight, because I have all straight edges anyway, as it is. So very simple. This is the easiest thing so far in these instructions, that all I have to do is cut this straight down here. So I'll measure it. I know I'm using a black marker on black, but uh, hey, better than nothing. And mark right there perfect I can see it so I'm gonna cut this and then I'm just gonna install this on here actually I might wait no you know what I'm gonna install that on there and then uh, there's a deflector plate here too that uh, um, after this is installed on the flap and I have it up and I'm gonna measure and then it goes on the other side so it helps prevent grass when you have this flap closed uh, and debris flying through ever so slight crack so you'll see right here Hopefully you can see that okay. You can see a bit of daylight through there, and uh, this will block that. All right, let's get to her. All right, so I'm just mounting now this plate, which I cut here, nice and flush. Looks good, looks good on the front there. Um, it's hard to drill some holes into, uh, into this thing right here. I don't know what you call it, whatever the, I guess the, the shoe cover, right? It's a hard plastic, like a plexi kind of plexiglass kind of plastic. Um, anyway, drill some holes in there, and uh, as you can see, it comes with these little things that you stick in into the hole there, and they're threaded. So from the other end, I already put a couple screws in right there. You can see, uh, and it holds it all together. So, just going to finish putting uh, these last couple in. And of course, it's not straight now. I had it straight. As you're tightening it, you can feel it gripping with those uh, little things that you stick in the back there. So I'm using a screwdriver because I don't want to over tighten with, uh, with the drill, right? With the screw gun. There we go. Okay, so I only did the bottom ones because we got to figure out this uh, deflector, where the hell it goes. I might have to uh, go on YouTube and check it out, <laughs> see what other people did. Because the instructions, there's a picture, but it really doesn't show uh, for my machine how to do it. So either I stick this on the back of this plate here, so when it goes down, it always stays on this thing, or this attaches to the mower deck. 
somehow, but I have lots of things in the way here. And, uh, you know, it has, has the uh, adhesive tape here that you take off, whatever and stick on, but that's not going to hold forever there. You got discharge coming through here, moisture, wet leaves, and all that. This thing's not going to last long. So I just got to figure that out. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay, I think I figured something out here. So, so anyway, I put the rest of the screws in here. So I checked out some videos of people installing these. I guess you just kind of have to, whatever your mower is in the application, you kind of have to MacGyver, sort of give you the tools and uh, you just got to kind of MacGyver it yourself and uh, figure it out. So uh, most people, well, one video that I've seen, somebody installed it just on top of here. So, so in between the uh, grass flat metal part and this uh, plastic shield, and they installed this thing up here, right? So obviously behind there. So the only problem I have with that is, if you see the gap here, up here. So if you got the deflector right at the top of this shield going right here, you have all the space here. So it's gonna hit the deflector and it's gonna bounce back into the mower here. Yes, great, it's not gonna fly up into my face here, but it's still, I'm going to have a buildup of grass all coming in here and then going into where the belts are down there and stuff. So, I think what I'm going to do, let me open this up. I am going to, because it has this uh, adhesive taper, I think it's going to stick on pretty good as long as I have this clean before I stick it on. So, I'm going to stick it on here, okay, like so. I don't know how much you can see here. Let's, uh, let's make an adjustment here. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, hold on here, yeah, I'm gonna stick it on. So basically I'm gonna use these uh, mounting parts here as a guide because I can go up against there like that. And when this comes down, it's gonna come down to here to where the top of the deck is right here. And that's what I want. So basically what I have to do, so this is gonna be stuck on like that. So when it curves around, it's gonna come like that, all right? So what I have to do is I'm going to have to measure to where all these little obstructions are and cut out. So when the chute closes like that and this part comes around here, it's going to fit right into all these obstructions and be flush right across here. And it's going to fill in that gap. It's going to deflect it away. It's not going to deflect into the mower. So let's see what happens. Okay. So basically I just held it up right here and I measured it where all these little obstructions are and I, I marked off where to cut. I'm not sure if you can see those markings there. I think you might be able to. I know it's a black uh, marker on black but I can see it. I've seen people use uh, tin snips or, or whatever. So I'm going to snip away here. So. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Yeah, it seems to cut it pretty good. Doesn't that be perfect? You're not really going to see it too much. But uh, the only problem is, well, how do I? Kind of chip away at it, right? I just made an M. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to look pretty, but you're not going to see it. So, kind of get it. So I'll be back once all, all this is trimmed. Okay, so I'm back. I think I figured something out here. So what I had to do is I took out these three uh, screws and I took out the uh, little, here I'll show you now what they look like. So these little things right here, you, you drill the holes and then these things kind of tap in and it's threaded and then uh, it'll have the back side and you put the screw at the front side and it threads right into this and holds everything in. So this is what I figured out for this deflector here. I know it kind of looks uh, a little botched up but the best I could do. Tin snips work really good for uh, you know trying to get uh, the straight edge right there. Well, it's not super straight but hey better than nothing. 
All right, it's gonna get dirty anyway. So I stuck this on, it's on pretty good right now and I measured really good. So when this closes, um, oh, you can see in there. Uh, you know, watch the gap there. And uh, there's a deflector right there and it's pretty much flush with the deck. That's exactly uh, what I was after. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna drill holes. I already marked everything. I stuck this on because I have the existing holes there measured. So I'm gonna drill holes through this deflector, through the existing hole of this plate, and then stick these little guys in from behind right here, and then screw the thing back on. So not only is the adhesive tape, I think this adhesive tape's pretty good. Like I'm pulling, and there's a lot of tension because of that screw. Uh, it's pretty good, but also it's gonna be uh, held on by by these guys and the screws, all right? Oh. All right, and we'll be back. I'll do the rest of them and we'll be right back. All right, you know what? This is the quickest thing I figured out. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you got to take your time with these kind of things, right? You can't rush this. You got to make sure. But anyway, this worked out great. I put this middle one in already just to, just to hold everything fine. So I drilled the holes right here for the other three. So these things, they go in the back right here. It's actually just holding in by itself already. Put in the other one right here. Now that one's somewhat loose, but that's okay. Because now we're going to put these screws in. So you can see how this thing is holding this uh, deflector plate. It's just a cheap piece of plastic or whatever, but it, I'm telling you, if it's gonna stop grass and crap from flying up into your face, great. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold this one because uh, it is a little bit loose, but it's fine. Because once we get the screw in, everything's gonna bond together as one. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put this one in. Oh, yeah. And there you have it. Got the deflector on there. That is not going anywhere. I am so happy. It's nice and flush. All right. All right, everybody. Just give you a little update now with, uh, with how the project's going here. So we have the flap on, which is great. Uh, it's just a little bit off, but I'm gonna make a final adjustment. So you can see the bottom of that flap sticking out just a little bit. I'm telling you, it won't make a difference if I straighten that out or not, I don't think. But other than that, you look in there, you see the deflector blocking everything. It looks really good. That looks really nice. So, but I can still make final adjustments. I can loosen these and I can slide this over more, bring it in if I want to. It's, it's pretty much there right now which is great. So that's when the flap is up. And then when the flap goes down. There you go. Okay, so we got the spring on, we got the cable hooked up here. So next what we're gonna be doing is I gotta find out where I'm gonna route this cable through. And so right now I just have it right here for now. So basically our goal is to get it back here onto the pebble. Where's the pedal? Let's just get the pedal so we get an idea of. So, I'm not quite sure which way it goes, but I'm gonna have this pedal mounted somewhere around here. I'm gonna find it exactly uh, where I like it, you know, where my feet are gonna be you know, when I get on. So, okay, we'll be back. All right, so we're back. 
Okay, so I fed the cable through. I got the cable. I actually had to change the uh, the cable out because I had the wrong end here. I looked at the instructions again, so that was easy enough anyway. I just had to get another cotter pin and, and fix her all up. So I got the the cable hooked up there. So I figured out the best uh, route. It's actually pretty simple here for this machine. So I'm gonna have it along right here, and then what I'm gonna do is. Uh, I got some ties here from the uh, last shoot blocker I had on here. I'm going to tie it up to uh, right here. Tie that up too. So I have it coming pretty straightforward. I don't have to drill anything here. So I'm going to come through the, uh, the back here. Here's my paddle. It's, it's not mounted by all means. I uh, hooked up the, the cable here. So I still have to hook up the cable to. Uh, Where's it hook up to? I don't know, somewhere down here. So, um, this back plate I had to take off from down here, but uh, it doesn't interfere at all because uh, there's a space here and a space on the other side there too, so it's perfect. So when I tie everything down, the, the cable won't interfere with anything. It won't interfere with the deck. I raised up the deck just to make sure and put it down. There won't be any interference, and you just want to make sure that the cable's not touching, obviously, the exhaust. Uh, or any other parts that, that will get hot or moving parts, right? Obviously blades. Well, that's under the machine, but wheels and and Stuff like that. Okay, so uh, I guess next Gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount this uh, Pedal and everything. Okay, we'll be back Okay So This wasn't actually too bad to uh, to install as you can see, the cable I got coming out from just over there. Uh, they suggest to keep these cables straight for at least an inch coming out here. Uh, I'm going to keep it as straight as possible here anyway. But I got to tie this still on. This is by all means not all done here. Um, I'm going to tie this on with a cable tie to the hole there. So this is pretty uh, straightforward to uh, to install here because I'm using the existing holes that are in the uh, platform that you stand on. To, uh, to mount this. Oh, as you can see under there, it's just a nut and bolt. And uh, yeah, the bolts actually just lock right into this bracket so uh, it doesn't keep on turning, right? And you can turn the, uh, the lock nut on it. So I, I tightened the far back one on. I didn't tighten this one on yet, just, uh, just in case, right? So I got the cable running through there, like I showed you before. So it's coming out right here. So I'm going to tie this on up here, adjust everything nice. No. Yeah. So let me get adjusting right now and then we'll be back. Okay, so here we go. We got her all done. Grass flap is all on. Got everything tied up. All the cables are tight and straight. Coming off there. Cable coming right under there to here. Got a couple ties on here just to hold two different angles, just so it holds there. So uh, it allows for uh, movement with the deck going up and down. I believe the deck is, yes, it's down right now. Okay, so I got the cable right here. And here I just put a cable tie right here uh, with a couple other existing cables that are coming along here, just to kind of keep it away from the mortar. And then it's going down. Coming out right over there into the pedal. So I have the pedal angled this way just because of the way the cable is coming out, just so the cable stays straight. And I'm okay with that. I am right-handed and right-footed, but uh, I'll use my left foot on it. It's fine. And there's still plenty of room. Yes, I still have my safety sandals on for me to stand on here and operate it. Let's see what happens. There you go. And it's down. Works perfect. Let's try it out. I got some uh, tall grass in the backyard, and uh, I'm gonna try this baby out. We'll be right back.
I just want to demonstrate if this uh, grass catcher will fit on with the grass flap still on. So I know some people uh, were kind of questioning that. Um, I just want to show you. I have John Deere's version of uh, the accelerator. So this is a John Deere part. I don't know if you can see that right there, the label. Okay. So let's put the flap up. Fits like a glove, like it's meant to be. Great job, grass flap. All right, so there we go. Got her all done. Cut the uh, the backyard. Kind of demonstrated a little bit for you guys there and girls with it. Really happy with it. Grass flap. You guys are awesome. I'm telling you, I got to say one thing about a grass flap company. Excellent communication. I. Uh, we were emailing back and forth because I, I, I was looking into it for a little while between some other companies too and, and stuff and uh, they always got back to me right away with all the information, everything from shipping to Canada for me and, uh, and all, all the fine details and everything and, and I got it within a week. No problems at all. Um, putting it together, you got to take your time, I'm telling you. Like if I uh, did a video of the whole thing like live, uh, yeah. Uh, I was diddle and daddling on this thing for at least six to seven hours, okay? I'm sure a lot more of you can probably get it done faster than that, but I just wanted to make sure I was doing it right and uh, have things straight. That deflector kind of drove me nuts, you know, doing that. But other than that, you know what? It is really straightforward. If you are more mechanically inclined than uh, I am, uh, you could probably figure it out a lot quicker. If I have to install another one of these, will it be a lot quicker? Oh yeah, oh for sure. But like anything, you learn, right? And uh, I got no problems uh, taking my time with that. I got all day for this project and I'm quite happy with the result. So, so that's it. Nice and clean. Uh, I'll try it out starting Monday with my lawns and I'm sure it's going to go fine. And uh, I'll let you all know uh, maybe within a month or so uh, how it goes and how I like it. So anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed, uh, enjoyed that video. And uh, thanks again for all your support and, and everything. And uh, yeah. Be nice to everyone, do something nice for someone, and peace to everyone.